guys, we are here at the XLR booth at the 2021 Comp Expo. I'm here with my good friend Matt Means and Colin Falson. Colin, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Travis? Very good. Matt, how are you, sir? I'm good, Travis. We're hanging out in the cold air here. Dude, this thing is amazing. This is the coolest spot, not only because it's the coolest booth, but we have air conditioning in 100 degree weather. How awesome is that? It's the best. So, XLR, you guys just launched a new chassis, a 4.0. Tell us about it. I know people are excited about it. Are you, are you shooting one already? Yep. I've been running one since February, January about. Why are you so special? Well, if, you're, special. if you're on the XLR team, sometimes <laughs> you, you get some of those first items. So you get to I, make sure I have it been works. running one for the uh, NRL Hunter. So. And, and you've won with it? Yep. Awesome. Can, what does he run with? Can we see? Yeah, absolutely. Check that. So this is Element 4.0, so fourth generation. Over the years, we've continued to update it to be able to make it, you know, relevant to different shooting purposes. Uh, going from the 3.0 to the 4.0, the big changes was the integrated bubble level and the integrated really bright stuff inch and a half dovetail or ARPA Swiss. Uh, this chassis here, as you see, it weighs 28 ounces with the carbon buttstock and carbon fiber grit. But what's really cool is you can actually add internal weights, external weights. You can change out the buttstock to a fully adjustable. TR2, add a lot of weights there, so you can go from sub two pounds all the way up to eight and a half pounds. So very versatile for going on a backpack style hunt, getting the right balance for NRL hunting. Uh, we have, I wanna say almost every one of our shooters running the Element Chassis and NRL Hunter. There's a few running the MV Pro and the Heavy Division. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it's it's been a great success. A lot of the hunting industry is really starting to catch in, uh, catch on to the Arca Swiss for clamping directly onto tripods and bipods. And, really versatile system and then we took it even a step further where we actually have a chassis that hasn't been released yet which is the Adam chassis what? so similar oh. design just a lot shorter what? forend still has an integrated Arca Swiss integrated bubble level all of our chassis that are have actions that are well it's not going to pop out here but they are ambidextrous and then you have the plug that just fills in whichever relief that you're not currently using uh, they accept AICS magazines. Now this Adam chassis, just to show you how light even the element is, which we offer both of these in aluminum and magnesium. Cutting off the entire forend, we did save some weight, but it was about an ounce and a half. So a lot of the weight in the chassis is around the inlet. So not, not a ton more we're gonna remove from it, but for those that are super ounce counters, this could be a great option, or you could build a really cool little short Pistol build, SBR, low compact rifle. Truck rifle? Yeah, truck rifle. Options are endless. So, yeah, no, they've been a huge success. And we have a lot of great shooters like Colin who's been running just about every model we've ever came out with. So, hopefully. So, I have the 3.0, correct? Yeah. That's the one that I want to. So, I have to get a 4.0 on order. But what I want to know is, Colin, come on, don't. Colin, how, how do you have your setup? Because you're winning with it, and I want to be able to beat you. So I've got mine set up with a carbon butt stock and a folder, um, just because sometimes it's nice to be able to throw that thing in a backpack and still have it compact. Um, that folder locks out nice, and then uh, I'm just running it pretty much bone stock straight from these guys. Uh, Are you doing the, you guys offer the thumb stop on it? And then yeah, yeah. You, you can put that on there. Us. I'm not running that on there. Not, but okay. So I'm I don't need that. I'm, I'm that guy counting ounces because Travis's scale seems to run a little heavier than mine. No. He uses a bathroom scale. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> That's official. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I've been really liking it. That uh, integrated Arca rail is key for me because I shoot off of a tripod for maybe 30% of these stages if I can't get a good prone. So that's been really big for me. Awesome. Now, both of you guys are way more experienced hunters than I am. But a lot of the stuff that are not pushback, but a lot of the uh, objections that we hear a lot recently in hunting world is hunting is done with a wood stock. That's what a hunting rifle is. The modern day hunter isn't using a wood stock. So what's the, some of the advantages of going to a chassis system? And either one of you can answer this from a chassis system from a traditional wood stock. So there's a lot of great options out there and some tools are better used for certain jobs, the chassis is really just going to give you more modularity to adapt that one tool to the different jobs. So whether you're hunting antelope or high country mule deer or going on Ibex hunt in Kyrgyzstan, like you might not want to bring the same rifle. And sometimes, especially with the chassis, uh, you know, we have a multi-point radial inlet that allows you to bolt in a barrel to action consistently time over and over and over again. 
and you're not worried if you can put a different bell to action that's sharing the same footprint and have a major point of impact shift, right? right. So for one hunt, they might want to put this Remington 700 that's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. The next hunt, they might want to put a 300 WSN in the same chassis, right? So for us, be able to accommodate the different barrel actions and have them not have five different rifles necessarily, um, and then be able to add stuff to it without having a gunsmith heavily modify the stock or worry about breaking it. So we still have all the M-Lock provisions on the forehead, so you can run every single type of bipod or sling provision that's on the market. Be able to clamp directly on the Arpa Swiss for a bipod, I think, on hunting is heavily overlooked. Not only are you getting the bipod a little bit closer, you're not having to add an additional uh, attachment and counting those ounces, but a lot of people don't understand that in hunting, you can go and slide that bipod from here back to the magwell, just like competition, and that might be the difference of getting a high angle shot or not. If that bipod leg is maxed out, you move that bipod, that could get you the height. Uh, the butt socks being very versatile to old, have adjustments you know this carbon butt stock's minimalistic so we don't have length of pull adjustment on it but we do still have an adjustable cheek rest having that consistent cheek weld be able to see that scope through that scope for faster target acquisition getting on the animal right away every time is huge so um I, I think all around it's just like you said it's modern hunting we're getting a new class of hunters out there they're starting to see okay this thing's indestructible it is light for a long time, people would look at chassis and think, oh, that thing's heavy, right? And they would deter them because it was tactical. But in reality, there's not many options out there that are all that much lighter than this, especially on traditional stocks where you're adding bottom metal and you're right. having to add the trigger guards and whatever else. So I think there's a lot of benefits to it. I, I don't know if I'd be able to hunt without one anymore, especially the folder for me, for the style of hunting I do, where I am backpacking into the wilderness. You know, to go and put this and strap it to a side of the backpack and just be hands-free using my trekking poles. I'm no, not very often going and really just going through the woods super slow with my rifle in my hand. I'm blasting out a distance and locating the animals and pursuing them. And when I need to get my rifle, obviously I can get off my pack. So um, it's a plug and play system. So from different slings, the bipods, they can all do that. I can't tell you how many friends I have that have tried to modify their carbon fiber stock and they crack it, you know? Yeah, so, and then they're like, ah! Yeah, nothing to do with that, but yeah, it's it, it meets the weight savings gain, and then you gain the versatility of the folding butt stock. You can gain still with the adjustable TR2 butt stocks, and they're really not that much heavier. Depending on the rifle, you know, this could be great for, let's say, 6.5 PRC. I might actually put a little heavier TR2 butt stock on a 300 PRC, just because I want that additional weight. It's gonna be a lot more shootable, more consistent to get behind the rifle every time on the heavy recoil rifle. So be able to change out the butt stocks and the grips to fit the type of rifle or the type of hunt you're using, where a traditional stock, it's, that's it. You know, yeah. you're not really be able to do much with it, so. And that traditional stock was designed in one way to try to meet everybody's needs, but let's face it, I mean, look, you're taller than I am, you're a hell of a lot more fit and active than I am. I'm taller than you, but you're a hell of a lot more fit. There, I just fat. <laughs> but you have to have rifles that fit your needs nowadays, and you have to have platforms for that rifle to, to, to suit, right, to fit. So the fact that, you know, XLR has all of these different components that you can change out, it's almost like, like Legos. I mean, you can take 100%. different parts and pieces and put it together and make it fit you, whether you're what six two, six three? Six two, yeah. You know, I'm I say I'm six foot. About five ten. Five eleven. <laughs> <laughs> we they have something for everybody's needs and even the females. We have young females that are getting into hunting a lot more active. Um, and we were talking to Camden earlier about length of pull. She's got like a twelve or three twelve inch length of pull or some something real short. And Matt's like, we have something for you. So if you're getting into the hunting game and you want to become a more modern hunter. Nothing wrong with, with wood stocks, awesome, but modularity is definitely the way of the future in our opinion. XLR is leading that way. So where can we order a chassis from? So you can order the chassis from xlrindustries.com. Uh, we do have our Instagram and Facebook, it's just XLR Industries, no periods or hashtags or, or underscores. Uh, feel free to give us a call. I mean, if you Google our name or go to our website and get the phone number, we love going over the bills to make sure we're tailoring the kit to your exact needs. You know, sometimes people might say, oh, I'm gonna buy this because it's what they believe they need, but we can relate to you, whether it's been hunting or competition shooting or just recreational, we can make sure we're getting the right stuff to what you want and what's gonna fit your needs the best. So I love talking to customers, love talking about shooting, 
hearing about their experiences and then usually hearing the follow-ups on how the products are working. And to testify to that, as a regular customer, I have called Matt on many occasions, probably too much. And I'm like, bro, I, I need a rifle for this setup. What do I do? What do I need? He knows that I have a weird length to pull because of a shoulder injury. And it's not about sales. They're about finding the right product for you guys. So check them out, xlrindustries.com. Matt, thank you so very much. Thanks, really guys. appreciate it. Absolutely. Bosses, good job. We got the thumbs up from the bosses. So until next time, we'll see you all at the range.